Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to film a video on skin. I get a nice healthy glow from within. So if you guys want to see how I got my skin to look super glowy and dewy, keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. So in order to get nice glowy healthy looking skin, you have to keep your skin hydrated. So I've already cleansed my skin. I've added all of my serums and my moisturizers, my under eye moisturizers, all that good stuff. One thing I love using for, for hydration are sheet masks. So I love these elf hydrating under eye masks masks are so nice you guys they really do help um hydrate under the eye they're nice and lightweight i like to use these sometimes before i apply my makeup and it really does help hydrate and give your under eyes a nice hydrated look first i'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little spray of hydration for that i'm using the heritage store rose water and glycerin spray and i've used this in some of my other videos and said how much i like this so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray that And this is just such a nice hydrating spray. Um, it smells like roses and it soothes it right before you apply your makeup. So I'm gonna let my skin kind of just absorb that. Don't forget to drink water. Water is so super important for the health of your skin. So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation and for that I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I'm in the shade 220. So I'm just gonna dot it all over my skin and then go in with a beauty sponge and just blend it all out. Now I really like to work my foundation into the skin and just press it into the skin. So I'm doing tapping motions and pressing the foundation into the skin so it lays beautifully. Don't forget to drag it down your neck so it all matches. I just realized that I have dark hair and a dark background and a dark shirt on so I probably look like a floating head with hands. So next I'm going to go in and conceal under the eye and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. This, this concealer is just so, so good, you guys. I just, I can't get away from it. It really helps cover dark circles and it's just so full coverage. But it doesn't crease, it's just so nice. And I'm going in with the same beauty sponge and blending it out. I'm just using the pointed side. This look isn't going to be a very heavy look. This is exclusively based on skin, on nice, glowy, healthy looking skin. I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to apply it with my beauty sponge only under the eyes. I'm just setting my concealer with this. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. I uploaded an eyebrow tutorial, that which I'll, I'll link down below if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my brows. But to say, for the sake of saving time, I'm just going to do them off camera, and I'll be back. And we're back. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to go in and warm up the face and contour my skin a little bit. I'm going to use my NARS Contour Powder in the shade Talia, which is a nice, like, cool tone. You can see I've already hit pan. I use this all the time. It's a nice, cool tone uh, bronzer. With a very light hand, I'm just going to go in and warm up the skin and bring it up to my temple, into my hairline slash forehead. Use a super light hand on your forehead so you don't end up with a bronzer helmet. Next, I'm going to go in with this Moda Pro brush. So I'm just going to tap that into the powder, tap off the excess, and really chisel out the cheekbones. And I'm still using light pressure, but this is just more precise. And I'm bringing it into the temple area and back into the hairline. And then with the same pointed Moda brush, I'm just going to blend that out so it's not so harsh. So after I've contoured, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit and I'm going to go in with a little bit of uh, the translucent powder that I used and I have some of these sponges that I got at like CVS, they have really nice sharp edges and I'm just going to press the sponge into the powder and just clean up the contour line. 
After applying all these contour products, I'm gonna go back in with the rose water and just spray it a little, and this is gonna help rehydrate the skin and help all those powder products really melt into the skin. So next I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and add a healthy coat of mascara. Using the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. Next I'm gonna go in with my favorite part, and that's the highlighting part. And the very first thing I'm using is a liquid highlighter, and then I'm gonna go in with a powder. So first I am using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Prosecco Pop applying it right above at the highest points of my face. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into the skin and just blend it in and you can see the really pretty glow that it gives you it's just such a nice it's like a glow from within I blended the highlighter into my skin I'm gonna go in with a powder Highlight on top of that to kind of set the liquid. And for that, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. So pretty, and it really complements this uh, Prosecco Pop really well. Using the Morphe M509 brush, just gently tapping the tip of the brush and then leaning it off to the side a little so I get just a little bit of highlight on the side of the brush. And as I'm applying it, I'm flicking it back so that I'm blending it into my contour. I'm also using a very light hand. After I've applied powder, I'm going to go back in with the rose water and really spritz myself one last time. And that's going to help, again, melt all of that highlighting powder I just applied into the skin. Ooh, look at that glow. The lips, I'm just applying a little bit of gloss because, again, I want the focus to be just on the skin. I'm using my MAC Lip Pencil in Strip Down. I'm going in with this e.l.f. lip gloss and this is the shade natural. This is such a pretty nude you guys. It's such a pretty nude lip gloss. It's like my perfect nude. And last but not least I'm going in with this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I'm just going to give it a little shake and spritz it on my skin. Look at that glow, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.